I mean, ab- absolutely, people have always sort of celebrated, huddled together in the darkness and, and waited for the days to lengthen, waited for the light to triumph over the darkness and that sort of thing. Um, but I guess I'd just look at the tidings of comfort and joy and just ask, so tidings means news. Hmm. So what is, what is the news that's going to make me happy in the midst of the darkness? What's, <laughs> what, what news is giving me comfort and joy as just I'm in the Just a celebration dark? of, mm-hmm. you know, look, we've all come together. Mm. It's that time of year. Yeah. Let's, you know, drink and eat and enjoy yeah. each other's company. And um, like the, how, I, how I end the last, the last verse um, about, you know, being good to each other as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I think it's a time of year when, um, you know, we have these celebrations. It makes us happy. It makes us merry. But I think actually if we didn't have that, particularly in this part of the world, you know, where it's a bit cold and wet and damp and we might not be particularly nice to each other right. <laughs> without the festive spirit right. in place. And I, I guess I'd say I think the festive spirit comes from a particular news item, and the news item being that the light has shone in the midst of the darkness. And, you know, remember Christ our Saviour was born upon this day to save right. us all from Satan's power lest we were gone astray. So that actually... The, there is an otherworldly light that is dawned in the midst of the darkness, mm-hmm. and therefore, ah, there's comfort, there's joy, there's something to cling on to. Yeah. And I just wonder whether celebrating celebration is sustainable. Right. If you, if you know what I mean? I want to celebrate something that elicits that celebratory kind of response from me. Or I want to sing mm-hmm. about something that, because of its aesthetic appeal, because of its just joy-giving nature in and of itself, it calls forth the song. It calls forth the joy. Right. I, I guess the question for you that they're tying in is, is, as an atheist, where, where, where does the, the meaning of the celebration come from? For a Christian, obviously, like Glenn, it's very clear that the thing he's celebrating, the thing that we can be joyful about at Christmas mm. is Jesus Christ, God with us, and all, all of the rest of that. Whereas for an atheist, um, what is the... I guess it's, it's for me, if, uh, and, and I don't mean to be critical here, but when I look at your songs, they, they, they feel Christmassy mm-hmm. and they sound Christmassy, but it's a bit like wrapping, uh, like taking all the wrapping paper off a Christmas present and inside you find oh there's nothing actually there it, because it's like what you're celebrating is actually just let's just try and get on with each other folks is that is that kind of what it boils down to in the end i suppose is, is my no, question not really um you know because I, I mean i immensely enjoy christmas mm. and i know many atheists who do immensely yeah. enjoy christmas i mean we we think it's fantastic um and it, you know it's just it, i i guess that that light that you're talking i think for us it just comes from within because um as as i've said a a few times um throughout promoting this album (laughs) (laughs) um it's 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 not um how do i want to want to package this in in a a way that fits this format a little bit better Um, (laughs) it's all right you can be honest you really can and i can always edit this afterwards (laughs) (laughs) Uh, yeah, she's been um, doing a predominantly a- atheist podcast. That's all right. We, we have plenty of atheists who listen to Unbelievable, and, and we're, we're pretty thick-skinned on this program. You, you, you won't offend us. Please, please don't be worried. Um, I, I, but, well, for us, it's just, you know, everything is what you make it. Mm. And if you don't put the effort in, then no, it's just, it's just going to be another day. Sure. And, oh, we got up and some people were celebrating and, oh, let's go have a meal and go to bed. It's it's not anything other than a day off work. You've got to make it what it is. Mm. And, um, you know, Christmas doesn't just happen whether you're a Christian or an atheist or any anything. Someone has put the time and the care and the love mm. into preparing everything, with the decorations, yeah. the food. I mean, traditional Christmas cakes. How many months in advance do they start? Yeah, you know, yeah. it's a lot of love mm-hmm. that mm. goes into making Christmas. Mm. Mm. And, you know, for us, the love, but, but, I think, is just, just yeah. love of okay. our families, our friends. Before we go to a break, Glenn, do you want to come back on this? And we'll, we'll hopefully hear another song on, uh, after a quick break. Yeah, I, I just guess what will call forth praise and joy and comfort for me 
is is news of something beyond family because because while family is from one angle the greatest thing about Christmas, mm-hmm. it's also the worst thing about Christmas. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because <laughs> you know we're like porcupines huddling together in the dark, and we've got spikes, and we hurt each other, and you know. Well, fair enough. And yeah, at that's some a good point, point after Christmas lunch, we all retreat to Facebook and <laughs> <laughs> you know, tell everyone what we really think about our families. And, and you know, it's, I, I make a joke of it, but but there's a serious point as well that that actually, if my only hope is within or my only hope is my family, um, then I'm actually my biggest problem as well. You mm-hmm. know, like no one has sabotaged their own happiness better than I have in my life. No yes. one's sabotaged their own success <laughs> better than I have. I'm so frustrated. And then if you get too close to me, I'll sabotage your happiness and your success. And so if the hope is from within, I don't think that's as hopeful a proposition as is, is there is there a light from on high that's dawned that in spite of my darkness I can be loved and I can be okay? Do you know? I agree completely. Yeah. I mean, this is um, I don't know if this is me in particular, but yeah, I mean, I I I do I struggle with that all the time. The okay. fact that it comes from here mm, inside right. everything mm. that propels me in life, and sometimes yeah, that gets a bit dim, and, and I get and, a bit tired. And you know how flawed you are as anyone else is. This is Premier Christian Radio.